Hey. You. Why are you not subscribed to Swiss? Is it because you hate her? Hmm? Well I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay. Smile. Hi, my name is Mrs. Swissroll and I'm going to show you exactly how to use TTS on your BRB screen. I don't know if a lot of people have done this or made a tutorial on this. I did a little spin on my own BRB screen. I think text-to-speech is a little bit more fun to play around with when it comes to your BRB screen. So let me show you exactly how mine looks. All right, so it's gonna look a little crazy. This is my OBS currently. It's gonna look a little crazy, but let me let me let me close out the preview for you. Maybe maybe that'll be a little bit easier since I'm display recording. Um, okay, so I use OBS. I don't use Stream Elements. I don't exactly know how this will work for Stream Elements, but um, okay. So this is my BRB screen. Let me enable it. This is my screen for my BRB. And normally the sound that plays out off of it, let me turn my sound real quick on. I have it muted for a reason. Otherwise it'd be looping forever and that would get annoying. Okay. Normally this would play in the background. Hey you, follow and subscribe to Swiss. For English press one. For Spanish press two. For Pepe Gaspam three. Swiss will be right back. She's probably getting food or taking a tinkle break. Thank you for holding. Don't forget to follow Swiss on all her socials. Did Swiss come back? Hmm? Maybe she abandoned you. No. That's not right. She will be back. She cares about chat. She cares about you but most importantly she cares about beans. Are you new here? Why not follow? Subscribe maybe? Swiss streams every Sunday through Wednesday. Okay. So that's mainly my BRB screen. Again, it's going to look really loopy. I apologize. I'm so sorry. So I have two methods as of doing this, but I'm going to need to turn off my uh, display screen real quick so I could just show you. I have two methods of doing this. My first method is um, making a video and portraying it as one of your um, scenes into one of your scenes. Like I said earlier, let's say that you were going to add it on a BRB screen. So I already have one, right? And I clicked it now, but I already have a BRB screen. So you wouldn't, you know, yours would not be here. You would completely add a new one. You click the plus sign and it would say like scene, whatever. You could label it as your new uh, BRB screen or your, your first BRB screen since you don't already have one. These are all my sources. To add a video, let's say you've edited down the video using the websites I'm about to show you. Um, you added a video and it's got audio, it's got your TTS, it's ready to go, it's everything, it's all your graphics. What you do would do is you would go to um, press the plus sign at the bottom here, right next to the trash can. And then you would click media source, right? And then it'll say add media source. You would press OK. And then this little pop up would pop up here and it'll say like which file, basically asking you which video would you want to showcase on the scene. Um, you would click browse. We click browse and then under browse, you would go for the video that you already made, which in my case, I already made this video, but I would click on my uh, BRB new screen that I just made. You would click it and you would add it. And then once you add it, it'll pop up here and it'll start playing the video, right? Let's say that all these scenes aren't here. It's only your media source. And that's the only thing that you would want. You might want to rename it like um, BRB video or something like that, right? So once you do that, you'll have your BRB screen just there. It'll pop up automatically. You don't need this channel chat box like I have right here that's complete you get up to you this chat box is just um um a browser source that I have through stream elements it could showcase my chat let me show you an example
And if you want me to do a video on that, I'm, I, I would love to do a video on that. I'm typing in my chat right now. And that's the chat box. It's a custom chat box that you can have through Steam Elements. And, uh, you know, it also um, serves as a, a nice little thing to have on your BRB since it also supports um, seven TV emotes and it supports uh, any better TTV emotes. So it's pretty cool beans. So see, these emotes would pop up automatically. You see all those cool emotes. Um, but yes, that would be your BRB screen, and that's how to set it up on OBS. I don't know about Stream Elements. I'm unsure. I don't use Stream Elements. I recommend learning OBS. It's a lot less taxing on your hardware as far as streaming. And honestly, people say that it looks a little more complicated. Sure, but it's well worth a while because it's just, it's more, to me, it's more customizable. And it's just, you know, you don't have to rely in case other websites, um, you know, go down, you'll just have the hard <laughs> raw OBS to work with. And it's, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard. So once you have that, again, it should be BRB video and the audio should be playing. You'll be able to customize, um, the audio of it and everything down here. You see, let's say that this BRB screen that you just saw down there, you'll be able to customize all the audio and everything. Here are the websites that I use to make the video. It's called Canva. Um, honestly, this is really a useful tool if you want to like reshape your emotes, if you want to make your own BRB screens. They have a lot of nice things. This is what I use to make my thumbnails most of the time for my YouTube videos and such. So if you like my thumbnails or if you think they're okay and you want to kind of learn how to make thumbnails and stuff, honestly, just use Canva. This is my BRB screen. Like I said, um, it's pretty basic. It's It doesn't have audio in it because I don't utilize the method. I, don't, I didn't add audio in it, but if you wanted to add audio in it, you could. Um, let me show you some of the examples that the website has. And this isn't sponsored by Canva at all. I just like their uh, website and I like the cool tools that they give you to use. Um, you could do like YouTube gaming, right? And all these cool, nice little examples um, pop up. Some of them are like you have to pay like pro to use. But again, like the free ones um, that aren't paid are kind of cool. Like look at this one. I think this one's free. Customize this template. And if you wanted to customize it, you could, right? You could just like put your own logo here, change the font if you wanted, change the color of the background if you wanted. You know, there's so many cool customizable stuff that you can do on this website. So I highly recommend um, checking out Canva if you haven't, or if you don't know anything about graphics and you don't have the money to pay someone for graphics, that's okay. You know, there's free options. You could always do like Twitch brb screens you know they have examples for brb screens up here um twitch starting screens you know they have twitch starting screens too starting soon screens they have so many some of them again are paid you know you have to pay to use it but that's okay you know there are free ones that you could choose now you would choose any one of these right that you have on hand um, let's say that like I, I customize mine completely and, and it's what exactly what I wanted. Right. Um, and let's say I want to add sound to it. You know, that's when you would upload a sound on this. It says upload files. You would upload a sound and add your TTS onto this screen here. Now how to add the TTS onto your custom starting soon screen or BRB screen or whatever the case may be that you're making. You would use websites like Brian TTS, and I will have some of these linked in the in the description below in my panels. Panels? What's YouTube? I'll have these websites linked um, in my uh, description below. But um, the websites that I use, let's say you only really like Brian TTS Brian. He's mainly the default voice that you get um, on big streamer streams. You know, they live to meme with it. So if you like to keep it default, this is where I go to find Brian. Like I type out, type out your message up top. And then once you type out your message up top, you would play it. Hello, you should follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Mrs. Swiss roll. OK, you could literally type anything in here. Sometimes the words are a little bit like, um, mm, you know, it, the words won't come out exactly precisely the way you want them to. Um, but, you, you know, there's workarounds with it. You, you just kind of play with it how you want. And then once you have the audio, um, you click on download here. Once you download it, it'll start downloading to your um, PC and you just grab it there and it'll be an MP3 file. Right. And then let's say that it is an MP3 file that you want to use on your BRB screen. You made one with Brian's voice and you want to upload it. You would just click upload and then it would prompt up a page to uh, select the file that you just downloaded. And then you would input it into this. And then once you're done with it, you would click share and then you would click download. And then it'll ask you, do you want PNG, JPEG? Do you want an MP4 file? That's when you would click MP4 video file because that is how you will be uploading it onto OBS as an MP4 file. So. 
that's one website. If you want to get fancy with it and you want to upgrade and let's say you're a Valorant player and you really love um, Cypher and let's say you want him reading back your BRB screen or something or, or you want him to say something really cool or whatever, whatever the case may be, whatever you want on your content, it's your channel, you do you. Uh, this is cool. You can pick a, a variety of people. I'm just going to use Cypher as an example. This is just an example of my skills with this website. So, okay. And then you would click download again, just like TTS Brian download. And once you download it, it'll prompt you to save it as an MP3 file. And what you would do is you would uh, upload it here again, grab your file, a window will pop up. It'll ask you exactly um, what file you want to upload. Once the sound is on and everything, uh, that's when you, again, the whole thing with, the, with OBS that I told you earlier is that's when you would upload it to OBS as a uh, media source and then once it's media source create your own scene of course um let's use this as i'm going to use this as brb example all right this is my brb example it's a whole new scene it's a naked scene okay it's a whole new scene right this is my brb example down here it's a whole new scene uh what you would do is you would add media source right and once you add media source um i'm just gonna label it brb overlay it doesn't need to be caps but i don't know i always have my caps on brb overlay all right and then it'll pop up local file browse and then you would add your brb right and then once your brb is added i personally um like to take close file when inactive that just means when i don't use the file it'll close um so that way it's not just running in the background uh, close file when inactive and there you go uh you know that's that's your sound that's your that's your video playing in the background which is pretty cool um i believe there was another oh here it is this is the one i was looking for okay once your file once you have your file like uploaded you see that it ended like really briefly like it only played that two second video and that's it or rather however long the video was i think in when i was editing it it was six seconds six seconds worth of starting soon so what you would want to do is right click on your brb overlay that you just uploaded go to properties and once you go to properties uh, you click on loop so that way it'll always be looping and this is the only thing you will um this is the only thing that will be playing in this scene right so if you want to switch back to main screen switch back to main screen on your bottom left here for scenes and then i want to go back to my brb you'll see that it'll, auto it'll automatically be playing in the background. Now, I don't have audio, and let me show you the way that I do it, just because I don't like the audio playing back without my control. So let me show you what I mean. I like doing it this way. This is just my preference. It's just what I enjoy. You can see my BRB screen is pulled up, right? So normally when this BRB screen is up, I automatically just click the sound from stream element because I have it uploaded as a file onto the website. And let me show you how that looks like. So this would be on. Pretend that this BRB screen is on. Let me go back to my main screen, right? So let me switch over to my other monitor. So my BRB screen is playing. My video that you saw there, my BRB screen, it's only the BRB screen. There's no audio playing. I don't have any TTS on at all. Again, I like to have it under my control, right? Because sometimes when I'm on my BRB screen, what ends up happening is I'll be on my BRB screen, but I'm back and I want to be able to talk to chat, but I'm not ready to turn my camera on, right? So because I'm not ready to turn my camera on, uh, if it was just the video with audio on it, as in TTS, I had audio on my video that I just made, uh, then, you know, I wouldn't be able to shut off without muting. And that to me is a little bit of, annoy of an annoyance. Personal preference, however you like it. So what I do is I uploaded the MP3 file that I have it set as hold. And it's under my stream store on stream elements. I don't know if you guys use stream elements, but I do. You can upload custom sound effects and stuff onto here. Uh, and if you want to use channel points, people can redeem it that way. But I have a hold and it's set to disabled as in only I can see it or only mods can see it. So what I do is I play the audio and then I switch back to OBS and you'll see my BRB screen. My BRB screen is on. For Spanish press two, for Pepe Gaspam three, Swiss will be right back. She's See? probably getting food or taking a tinkle break. And then I step Thank away. Thank you for holding. 
what I like to do to again is if I come, is I if if I come back, I can close out the website, close out stream elements, close out the window where the audio is being played, and then I could just talk to chat, which is so much more simple for me personally. Again, personal preference. You could just upload the video with sound. That's all on you, or you could do my method, whichever you prefer. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them if I can. I'm not super tech savvy but i mean like I, you know i get by i'll be there to answer them as best as, as best as i can if you feel like you still need some more technical support you can always just join my discord my discord is on my twitch page just go to my twitch page it'll be in the panels below uh once you go to my twitch page uh, scroll down in the panels when you're on the website it should say discord i uh, click that and that invite should work um if you don't have discord that's okay you can always contact me on twitter i'm literally everywhere twitter don't contact me on Instagram. I get a lot of weird DMs on Instagram. Um, so I don't necessarily check Instagram too often. I am on TikTok as well. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you out, please let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. Again, if you want to see a video being done, I would gladly do a video. This is kind of like an impromptu um, a video that I made. Someone asked me for some assistance with this and I thought, oh, I might as well make a video because maybe other people um, need help with this. So if this helped you out, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I hope to see you in my streams. I'll catch you later. Bye.